right. I'm here with Andrew uh, Salis is it Salisbury? Salisbury. Correct. Salisbury, and he is with Force X. And you know, there's been a lot of interest over the years with um, geo registration of uh, imagery and video in particular, and uh, they've got a pretty powerful capability to do that. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Andrew and let him uh, explain um, uh, what they're doing. Thank you, Art. So uh, I'm here today at. Nogus, the National Goddard Conference. Um, we're here showing our new commercial offering. This product is Widow. Uh, this is uh, our, our series of products are geared towards uh, manned ISR aircraft. So for a lot of uh, AVSOC, a lot of special operations aircraft with personnel on board uh, supporting the warfighter, we provide the software uh, and it's a mixture of mapping and geospatial applications and systems integration. So with all of our products, we integrate a lot of the onboard technical data links and a lot of the systems that provide us geospatial data. And we combine that with the EOIR sensors and other uh, system inputs and provide an interface that controls and displays all that in a very transparent manner. One of the things that I want to talk today about is our georectification uh, solution. So, what you're seeing here in Widow is our georectified geo video or 3D video. Um, what's very unique about our systems and our solutions is we work in a tactical environment predominantly. So what we do is we're taking the uh, attitude information from the aircraft and we are creating a full 3D textured uh, uh, model that we're draping imagery um, and we support most of your NGA type of imageries over top of that 3D texture. And then, using the information from the aircraft, we reproject that video down. So, this happens in a tactical environment. What we're, off, what we're showing here uh, predominantly would be a uh, gimbaled EOIR sensor, and we're taking a full HD feed, uh, encoding it, H.264, streaming across the network, and by use of the metadata, we're projecting that back down, a full HD feed, like I said, 1080, uh, 30 frames a second, and we're geo-rectifying every pixel at sub 300 milliseconds from sensor collection to display to the operator interface. And this is really what sets us apart from most of our competition in that we're doing that in a very live and dynamic manner. Um, so because we're able to take the, the world of video and the world of map, and merge those two together in such a, a fast manner. This provides a warfighter an awesome tool for looking at the, the battlefield picture and understanding what's going on. I can take all of the tactical data link and the intelligence systems and the real-time uh, collection of information and intelligence and display that over top of my map, over top of my video, drop points in my video, draw on my video. And what's unique about us is we're not just doing that for a sensor operator. We're doing that for a whole collective crew, providing interfaces to all the radios and awareness between pilot, co-pilot, sensor operator of what's going on in the battle space. And that, that fusion of information in near real time provides Warfighter a, a true advantage in a chaotic environment like combat. The, um, and, and you and I um, <clears throat> briefly discussed this. Now, I want to make sure that I understand it because a lot of people are familiar with taking video and pinning the four corners to the real world but you're pinning every pixel on that image? That, that's correct. What's unique about our solution art is that we're not uh, geo-registering a video to a map. So we're not taking a map or an imagery base and doing a scene matching or pinning the corners of a video. We are literally using the uh, six degrees of freedom of the aircraft and reprojecting that video back down because we know some specifics about the roll, pilt, roll tilt, pitch, yaw, as well as uh, the elevation, the contour of the earth, and we're, we're projecting that back down in real time. That's, that's one unique aspect of what we're doing. And I think it's also important to note that uh, that's, this is our intellectual property, this is our own geospatial engine, and it's something that nobody else has, and we develop on solely. Now, uh, you mentioned um, the 3D model that you're uh, draping imagery on. Are you also draping video on the 3D image? That is correct. Okay. So the video to us is just another texture like a static map. Okay. It's just we're playing it in a dynamic environment. Yeah.